Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. This is the third video on Catalon Recorder and this video will talk about how to export the script using Catalon Recorder and how we can import into uh, existing editor. Okay, so this is what exactly we are going to discuss. So anyways, Catalon Recorder have the direct option to export the script into different formats and I'm using Eclipse, so, but if you have any other editor, you can import the same script in any of the editor. Okay, so what we will do, I will go back to the editor. Okay, so this is the script which we have written in video 2 and now I want to export this because I want to run directly from the Eclipse or I want to run as a testing XML file. So just select this file or test case, just click on export. You will get multiple options here. Okay, so you can select the option. So if you're working with Python, Ruby, you can select the respective option. As of now, I'm working with Java testng, so I will click here. And if you see Java, Shishab, they're almost same. Only a small change will be done. If you see this code is exactly the same. Definitely small syntax will be there. But if you see the comparison, 90% C sharp and Java both are same. So if you want, if you are planning for C sharp as well, you can directly go ahead. You will not find much difficulty because syntax is also fine. Like almost same. Here we have in Java, we have testng and junit. In C sharp, they have n unit. Okay. In a similar way, if you go with Python, Python definitely have a totally different syntax. But yeah, it's like if you see the lengthy code like it's not that lengthy as compared to java and shishab this is what the feature we have in uh, python like you need to write less code okay whatever steps we are writing four lines of code in java it can be done in one line in python okay so what i will do i will click java test ng and i have three options so if I click on clipboard, it will be copied to my clipboard and I can paste it directly. You can also save as a file. So it will store this as a dot Java extension. Now another important update, I will be uploading some videos on robot framework. So last year I was planning, but somehow I couldn't upload. So we'll also see the robot framework in upcoming videos because robot framework, some companies are still using robot framework. So if you do not know, it will be time consuming for you so i will upload few videos on robot framework it's very very easy okay because it's a complete framework ready like catalon you just have to learn how to use it okay so that's a different story as it uh, as of now i will click on copy to clipboard so all the code which i have it's copied to my clipboard now i'll go back to my eclipse i i have the two projects so i will take any of the projects so as of now I have two test cases, what I will do, I will create one more test and this I will say login CRM or whatever name you want to give and click on finish. So just double click, remove this class and uh, say control V. So you will get two errors because right now the package, we are in the test case package. So I will delete this and one more error you will get like uh, by default it is taking it was taking some other name like login manual the same name which we have given the catalon recorder but our test case name is login crm so what i will do i will put mouse over and i can select any of this option so i will say rename type to login crm so automatically eclipse will do these changes for you now you can see couple of warnings so press ctrl shift and o it will organize and it will remove the unnecessary imports now you will see they also have three more methods like is element present is alert present close alert and get it text so as of now we are not using all these so if you wish you can remove them now we have only three one is before class one is after class and one is the actual test case so as usual if you see before class have like starting the browser part base url and setting the implicit weight Actual test will have the actual assertion which we have uh, seen just now. So it will start the browser, sorry, it will start the application, do the type, click, type, click, and finally assert true. And 
after class they have written close the browser and they are also doing some verifications as of now this also is redundant so if you wish you can remove this and this also not required so driver.quit is enough okay so now when uh, I want to run on Chrome I currently have some issue with my Firefox it got updated so I need to download the latest Gecko driver so for the time being I will run on Chrome so Chrome driver and I will import the Chrome driver now by default there is no path set for Chrome driver so you need to set it manually so as of now I have my Chrome driver available in my desktop folder in my desktop driver folder and this is the driver I have this property will be same for all of us webdriver.chrome.driver only path you need to change in case if you are working with windows then it will be chrome driver.exe so what I will do I will copy and I will paste here before starting the driver Control shift F for formatting and Control shift O in order to remove the redundant packages and additional variables which I don't want okay now it's good now let me run this right click run as test ng test and you will see it will start the fresh session and it will do the same activity like type username password and after login it will close okay so after that if you want to do any modifications you can directly do in the code or you can again go back you can write the steps export okay so if you are not using framework it's good so for small scenarios I will recommend you can go and get and use this catalog recorder okay so whenever you have some complex logics then definitely you need the help of if else statement and your co uh, complex logic in that case you can export the code whatever you have recorded till now and then you can write the your logic part here okay so that's all for this video so if you have any doubt you can uh, ask me in the comment section and if you have any other doubt you can ask me through email as well mukesh at that learn hyphen automation.com so if you like this video please share with your friends subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next videos thank you so much have a nice day bye bye